Welcome back. You're listening to the Keeping Your Money Show with Jamie Westenbarger. Volatility is definitely part of the market equation this year. Do you have a financial plan in place to handle the ups and downs? Call today to schedule your complimentary appointment with Jamie Westenbarger now at 1-888-986-6639. And now, the hosts of the Keeping Your Money Show, Jamie Westenbarger and Bart Steinler. All right, welcome back to the Keeping Your Money Show. I'm Jamie Westenbarger. I almost forgot who I was. I was like, I'm, and I almost said Bart Steinler, which might have been weird. Yeah, I think that would have been. Because <laughs> only I'm Bart Steinler. This is true. <laughs> Nobody Jamie, else can do that. I'm Jamie Westenbarger, joined as always by Bart Steinler. If you're just tuning in or you've been listening the whole time, we were discussing student loans and what students are actually willing to do to help lower the cost of those loans. And, you know, honestly, from the survey, it looks like they're just willing to vote for a guy who will Forget wipe them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like they're willing why, to do much more. Why should I get another job and, and work hard and pay off this loan when I could just vote for some guy who will love forgive it? You know? Why should I lower my entertainment expenses? Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. You I need me? to go see Batman, Superman. I mean, this is ridiculous. Twice, you know? yeah, I mean, I mean, in IMAX. To catch the full 3D. meaning and all of it. Because <laughs> you might miss something the first well, time. Well, and you can't go to a movie without popcorn. No. I mean, come on. No. <laughs> we joke, but it really is a, and that a, a, sad, drink. a sad situation uh, on a number of levels. If you miss any part of the show, you can always find it on our website. Just go to keepingyourmoney.com. You can also podcast us. Go to iTunes. Search for the Keeping Your Money show, and you can subscribe to us there. And then when you plug in your iPod like I do once every six months, you'll get like 90 shows down. <laughs> <laughs> I got ready to go on this vacation, and I... Uh, go on to iTunes and you know I use Google Music cuz I've got an Android phone but iTunes is a great way to funnel music into it so I go on to my computer and I open up iTunes and it starts downloading all of my updates and it says you know you have 97 things to, to download and I'm like good lord what am I downloading you know and I go and look and like 47 of them are the keeping your money show because <laughs> of the podcast so so you go on vacation you listen to yourself on the radio I do not okay that's what I didn't think <laughs> I, I randomly listen to them I didn't need 47 of them I can assure you that yeah, so. it's, a, it's a good way to get someone to sh- jump off the ship <laughs> right <laughs> turn yeah. that off I do not recommend anyone listen to 47 seven uh you know in a row uh versions of this show by any stretch of the imagination uh if you want to contact us and you'd like to be involved in the show we welcome you to do so you can call us toll free our number is 888-98-MONEY that's 888-986-6639 we don't take calls on the show but we would love to hear from you somebody answers the phone 24 hours a day so you can leave a message if you want us to contact you or you have a question or something you'd like us to talk about on the show uh, we would be happy to do that. You know, we got a uh, a call from someone the other day. I actually might have emailed now that I think about it, uh, which you can also do, info at keepingyourmoney.com. Um, but they had an interesting question about buying years, uh, if you're a teacher, buying years. And um, it, it reminded me of the fact that so often we go into these careers, whether it's as a teacher or a lawyer or an engineer or whatever, and you know we're handed this benefit package and no one tells us what to do with that benefit package, you know? Right. And um, that is a great opportunity to start to meet and talk to financial advisors because it's a real low uh, key way to start having conversations and you can start getting different viewpoints and different ideas. And um, because when it comes to buying years, you know, for many people, uh, it really makes a lot of sense. You're making the least amount of money you'll probably ever make as a teacher. You have the opportunity to buy five years based on your current salary uh, and retire five years earlier uh, when you're making way more money. Um, so when you look at the way that the retirement system works for the state teacher's pension, uh, many times that can be a very, very profitable thing to do. And you're only given the opportunity to do that early on in your career. So you definitely want to explore uh, the, the positives of that and how that can really work out for you. So I saw this article the other day and I know we live in a much more digital world. This is from Money Magazine. Um, and yet sometimes we still see people holding on to those vestiges of maybe a, uh, a bygone era where, mm-hmm. you know, um, you can only bank, you know, at the bank that's on the corner. Um, you can only grocery shop at the grocery store. It's on the corner, you know, those types of things. And I'm a big fan of local 
there's benefits of local. You know, we we bank ourselves with a, a local community bank, First Community Bank downtown Grand Rapids. Um, but if you're banking at one of these national chains or even a regional chain here in the Grand Rapids area, you may not be getting a lot of the benefits that are available if you were to expand your horizons outside of organizations that you know have branches here. Uh, so for instance, this article on money talks about the fact that many banks across the country are now starting to offer many high yield checking accounts, which give you the opportunity if you hold a decent sized balance in your bank account to actually earn a little bit of interest on that money instead of the zero that you're probably getting uh, in your in your local bank account. Well, that makes a lot of sense because, you know, a lot of times there's uh, y- you have a situation and you want to improve yourself financially. And you're looking around and you're thinking, I gotta, do, I gotta do something big. I gotta do something significant here to change my financial situation. But a lot of times, you can take four or five small steps that are going to change your financial situation. Maybe one of them is, is you know, getting, uh, analyzing your phone bill and your cable bill and, and figuring out how to do those services for less money. Well, here's another good one. Take a look at your relationship with your local bank, mm-hmm. and and see if what they're offering you as interest on your checking account is competitive to what you can get at possibly an an online bank. Or even, you know, other things with that when you look at fees. You know, I mean, Mm -hmm. you use an ATM card from pretty much any of the national or regional banks in this area. If you use it in anybody else's ATM, they're going to charge you. Right. And you're going to get charged at the ATM. So you go take 100 bucks out of a Chase ATM using a fifth third ATM card and you know you're out like 7 bucks for getting that $100. Well, that's a pretty hefty fee. That's 7%. There. Yeah, now you go look at, you know, some of these online banks and I'm not promoting any of them. You know, I mean there's goods and bads out there. You want to do your homework, but you know, many of them will offer, you know, 10 transactions a month or 20 transactions a month at an ATM machine with no fee. Well, not only will they a lot of times not charge you a fee, but they'll even sometimes waive the fee of the ATM machine itself. Well, I mean, you do five withdrawals a month from an ATM that's not your bank's ATM, you know, at the end of the year, you're talking about a couple hundred dollars in fees that you've saved from that. And then we look at these checking account rates. Bank rate found the average yield across the country was 1.65% on a higher yield checking account. Now, many of them require that you do things such as use your debit card, 10 times a month or, you know, uh, get your statements electronically or have direct deposit. But many of you are probably doing that anyway. Yeah. So, you know, keep track of these fees because they do add up. And just like your phone bill and your cable bill and your coffee bill and everything else, if, if you if you are judicious about looking at these things and keeping track of them and finding ways to lower the amount of money you're spending on a monthly basis, that adds up. That puts you in a better situation for retirement. Gives you more money that you can do enjoyable things with. Yeah. So I figured out that if you had twenty five thousand dollars on average, as an average balance in your bank, okay, okay, and if you did five transactions per month at ATMs that were not your bank's ATM, okay, okay, that on an annual basis, if you were to get two percent in a high yield account, you would save. $960 between the fees and the interest you would earn. I mean, you do that for 10 years, that's real money that that, that, that national bank here locally is, is taking out of your pocket. So it really does make sense to look at, you know, and a lot of times too, it's been, well, well, how do I make deposits or, you know, how do I do this or that? But, you know, realistically anymore i mean how often do you go to the bank i mean we we all have remote capture on our phones or you know we're doing transactions at atms or so i mean really that whole idea that you've got to have a branch to make a deposit or i mean that really doesn't even matter anymore for the most part no it doesn't and and you you know it doesn't matter by looking at how many branches there are around compared to what there was 10 years ago they're shrinking a lot for sure so all right coming up we're going to talk about eight costly home renovations that actually could hurt your property value right here on the keeping your money show 